when I wrote Lady Willpower. I, just, I wanted to hit. He always pushed the range with me on everything. Gary had a great control over his voice. He knew exactly what he was doing and knew how to get there. And Jerry would go, how's that? Is that good? And I'd say, yeah, that's cool. We're all good. And, and he'd say, Gary, you're excused. And I'd leave. And then he'd say to the uh, arranger, okay, take it up a step. I'd have him write it up at least a half step and sometimes a full step higher. Gary didn't notice. Except when I started kind of feeling it in recording, I'm going, oh, this feels really, really high. When he was pleading and it was real high, nobody could beat him. He was just great. In the case of Lady Willpower, I know Moz felt like the original version is great. That, that is a hard song to fuck up, really. It's like such a good song. I think it's best to keep it like a high energy tune like the original was. Lady Willpower, um, that was a colossal undertaking from top to bottom. It's so dense with lots of brass, it has key changes, there's, there's acrobatics in it. I think, I think they nailed it, basically, you know? I mean, he sang the song without altering it, but it's Morrissey singing. Uh, the producer didn't try to make him sing up in the sky. I, I think he did a great job of it, and I'd love to see it become a hit again. It just gives me faith in that whole great song, great record idea, you know? And I love the way he's done it, too. So, congratulations to you, Morrissey. <laughs> Facts of life There is so much